Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm taking a walk through the woods and I brought with me a special friend. Canon PowerShot V10. They say it's the perfect camera for vlogging so I'm gonna go and put that to the test. Let's go! So this is the type of quality that you can expect from this camera. I'm now filming in 4K at 25 frames per second and pretty much everything else is set on automatic. Um, the nice thing is that I noticed that it is tracking my face pretty good even if I move the camera around. And also, I'm impressed with the stabilization. I mean, walking around, the, you know, path is not that even and... Uh, this looks fairly stable to me. The small attachment that you can use to have the camera standing on a flat surface while you're filming actually helps when you're holding the camera as well because you can use it as a grip. Um, so in terms of the overall handling it while you're walking around and vlogging, <laughs> um, it does a very, very good job. I'm really impressed. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the technical specifications as is it does full HD at this frame rate, it does 4K at that frame rate because let's be honest, that's something that you can just easily Google and then you'll find it out there. Um, so I'm going to talk more about how it feels to use it. I think the fact that they put a lens that is quite a wide angle, so this one is a 6.6 millimeter lens and it's a 2.8 lens, I think does help a lot. The one thing that I usually notice when I'm out vlogging and I'm using another camera, so I'm using like my Fuji or my Canon 80D, it, everything tends to be a little bit too close to the camera. Whilst because of the lens on this particular model, it, it doesn't feel like that. And you also don't see your arm in the footage, which I think it's quite important because we're kind of sick of seeing that, like that selfie sort of look. Um, as I said, the handle, so I think you can call it a handle, it's quite handy, but you do have to be careful that if you're using the wrist strap, when you want to put it back, the wrist strap will get caught into it. So, um, and same with the screen, you can't put the screen down and then close it. You have to make sure that the screen goes up and then the handle goes down and the screen goes on top of that. Size of it is, I think, what appeals to me the most. Yeah, let's do some more testing. You will notice, just by looking at the camera, you do have a microphone input. So if you want, you can use a wireless microphone, clip one there, have the other one clipped to yourself. But it also features two microphones at the top. That. That I think do a pretty good job at picking up sound. So even if you don't have a microphone and you don't want to spend extra money on buying a microphone, you can rely on the ones built into the camera, which is not something that you can say about a lot of compacts or even microphones. I mean, an iPhone will be good for that, as I tested it in a couple of different ways, but the ones built into the camera are not that bad. I like it. Another thing that I should point out is that it also features 14 creative filters for those out there that want to get a little bit of a different feel to their filming. So let's try the Tasty Worm, shall we? I'll be recording with it for a little bit. Let's have a look. So that's the filter. Now, another feature that this camera has, that you can find in most digital cameras nowadays, is that I can easily connect it to this. It's not uncommon for cameras to have the option to transfer your file straight from the camera to the phone, or even use the phone as a remote. But the other thing that this camera does is that it will allow you to use it either as a webcam or as a live streaming device. 
and with all this technology and people wanting to share their life online this makes that just a little bit easier now i already mentioned that you can film with a camera and you can do streaming and all that and it's great for vlogging but i feel like it's important to mention that you can also film in vertical like nowadays everybody wants to do reels and youtube shorts and tiktoks so the camera allows you to film in the vertical view as well and it does a pretty good job at it same thing i feel like when filming in vertical you have a little bit of more of your hand in but i think it looks better than on the phone anyway yeah on my way to make a reel Yes, you heard that right. It also has a photo mode. So simply you touch in the corner of the camera on the screen, you switch it from video mode to photo mode, and all of a sudden you have a small compact camera for taking photos. I think I'm falling in love. And of course, can use it as a normal filming camera as well you don't have to film yourself you can just film the areas that you're visiting and that leaf was a paid actor let's talk battery now I think this is probably the one tiny detail that I would have liked to be a little bit different because it has a built-in battery. You can't take the battery out and you can't have spare ones. But the good thing is it charges via USB-C port. The charging is fairly quick. And on a full battery charge, you get 55 minutes of filming in 4K quality. You get an hour and a half in full HD and approximately 290 pictures. Um, it all comes down to the way that you use the camera so these are just reference numbers but for filming for a day out and stuff like that you stop for a coffee you go for lunch you can have a battery bank with you and just quickly plug it in I think uh, it's more than enough but yeah I wish there was an option to have multiple batteries maybe something for Canon to think about the next model so you might be wondering, why do you need this when we all have this in our pockets? Well, as someone that does a lot of filming on their phone, especially when I'm traveling and takes a lot of pictures and loves to share their stuff on social media and stuff like that, I always find that I do use a lot of battery on my phone, um, which in turn means that if I get to a new location, I might not have enough battery to then turn on Google Maps or search an Uber or something like that. Having this gives me the option to just film on something completely separate that will give me the quality that I need to share on my social media accounts without compromising the battery on my phone. And for the size, I think it's a nice addition to have. You just chuck it in your pocket, you won't even feel it. It weighs only about 200 grams, so yeah. I mean, it's a small thing to carry around to save your phone battery and get good quality content. <laughs> Overall, I did enjoy very much using this camera and I'm kind of tempted to just take it out for a spin maybe another day and do a video filmed on it entirely. Um, I think that would be something quite interesting to, to see how, how it behaves. Obviously, I tested it out here just filming and taking pictures and I liked it, but I wonder if it was the only item that I had with me to film how would that perform overall at the moment you can get it online for about 449 pounds obviously when I'm filming this is Black Friday so they do have us about an 80 pound saving um, but I'm not sure when this video is gonna come out so I'm not, I'm not sure if the sale is still gonna be on but for the price for the size and for the feature that it offers I think it is a nice little camera that you can have with you if you love filming yourself if you love doing Instagram stories and stuff like that if you love traveling um, 
smaller than most phones so it's not going to take a lot of space in your suitcase and a great addition if you like filming if you got to the end of the video thanks for watching and make sure you hit all the bells and all the buttons and you subscribe and all that and um, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about the camera what do you think about this Canon PowerShot V10 would you buy one I think I want one <laughs> thanks for watching Thank you.